The Fox is a novella by D. H. Lawrence which first appeared in the Dial in 1922. Set in Berkshire, England, during World War I. The Fox, like many of D. H. Lawrence's other major works, deals with the psychological relationships of three protagonists in a triangle of love and hatred. Without the help of any male laborers, Nellie March and Jill Banford struggle to maintain a marginal livelihood at the Bailey Farm. A fox has raged through the poultry. And although the women, particularly the more masculine Nellie, have tried to shoot the intruder, he seems always to elude traps or gunshot. Outline of the novel Banford and March live on a farm together because it does not look like they will marry. Although they are only in their late twenties. In that era women who were still single at their age were generally considered to have foregone the prospect of marriage. Banford is thin and frail, in contrast to her companion who is physically masculine. However particular emphasis is given to March's face, which is feminine and expressive. The women are depicted as fearful of femininity and fertility. For example, they sell a heifer before it calves. The fox becomes a hindrance to Banford and March, but March finds she cannot hunt it, and rather. She becomes entranced by it. Shortly after this, Henry, a young man, comes to stay with the women. And a link is established between the fox and Henry. This intriguing novella explores gender roles, sexuality, femininity, and the pity of war. As do two other Lawrence novellas written at the same time. The Lady Bird and the Captain's Doll. Summary. Two women, Banford and March, are trying to independently run a small farm together and slowly failing in their efforts. The war is just over and soldiers are returning home. There have been cases of the great flu epidemic in the nearby village. So it must be set around 1919, and people are struggling with post-war problems including poor food and a cold winter. They are both becoming despondent and fearful for the future. A fox keeps stealing their chickens and they decide it must be shot. He is too clever for them. March, the stronger of the two women, begins a campaign to kill this animal and in a chance meeting with the fox she becomes fixated with him and unable to cause him harm. She feels his power dominating her spirit. A young soldier returning from the war, looking for somewhere to stay and work. Arrives and is tentatively allowed to stay. He is impudent, daring and unsettling, like the fox, and he has his own plans to cause disruption. Lawrence's story is an allegory of sexuality and power. It is full of atmosphere and hidden meaning. A power struggle begins and there will be a victim. This short story was very clever and distinctive. End of the topic. Thank you.